the purpose of this review is basically to show whether or not this actually can be used as a artist tablet. This is the i5 version with 1.5 gigahertz, 8 gigs of RAM, and a 256 gigabyte storage drive. This also has a really, really important feature, which is of course the Wacom Tech. It has a brand new upgrade screen, which is a 1920 by 1080 full HD, and it's also 13 inches across. The other cool thing is that it's actually a rugged tablet, totally rubberized all the way around, and it does have a swappable battery. Let's say you're out in the field and the battery drains out. Essentially take out the battery completely. Put a brand new battery in and your screen will come right back on. It would stay in the same spot that it was on. So let's say you have uh, no plug available but you do have a secondary fully charged battery. It could essentially go for hours on end um, with this tablet and not have to plug in. Thirteen by nineteen, three hundred fifty res. Right now it's on uh, some hairpin sable brush. And what I really want to point out is the actual parallax or lack thereof. So I'm going to change the pen to pencil. And I have tons of pencils loaded in here, and I'm going to talk about parallax and of course lag. Right now it's set to 5 pixels for that pencil, so it's really hard to see parallax. But as I get closer, and closer right down to the actual pixel, you'll see how much parallax or lack thereof there is on this pencil. Um, also I'll uh, test the initial pressure sensitivity or the initial activation force. That's essentially the IAF, which means how much pressure do you actually need to draw and how much control you have to draw. I'm gonna go from dark to light, just to show you how much control you have as an artist. And I am left-handed, so if I wanted to actually use this with button controls, I would have to rotate it, which it automatically did. And now I have, right now I have these three buttons set to zoom in, zoom out, and tab. Right now it's a zooming in, which for this program I don't think is really necessary, but you can set it up to whatever thing you need. So zoom in, zoom out, and then tab to basically get rid of your tools. and do an inking test. Essentially I'm going to bring up a picture that I had created in another tablet. Zoom in. I'll add a layer. Fill it in white. Add a transparency, add another layer. Change this to black, go back to my pencil, and you can basically ink with whatever you want. My preference is pencil. And again, this is just going off of the accuracy of the pen. And again, addressing lag, if there is lag, or what you would define as lag. And I'm gonna probably draw a little bit faster than normal, just to show, I guess, speed, and also you know whether or not you can actually detect lag as you're drawing. I don't think actually feel it but um, you can visually probably see it um, it's very 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 slight and again I'm drawing as fast as I can and probably making a ton of mistakes as I go because I do have a camera a little bit to my right shoulder Image resolution, it's 8.5 by 11 at 350 res. 
and this goes for any tablet just to be clear any brush that actually has more and more I guess different pixels and different densities and different pressures and of course different sizes will actually eventually slow down so right now because it's a small pencil I have very little lag but if I were to basically jump this up and I want to show this to you all so you can see it um, let's go with the brush This is a 70 pixel brush. It has some type of airbrush. And let me just zoom out a little bit more. Just keeping it pretty decently. And bump it to 200. Not bad. 1700. Actually, let's go 1200. And now you'll see there's actual lag. Okay, so I'm using touch gestures right now just to undo everything that I just did. It's pretty snappy. Get full rotate. I can actually pan around on my picture. Um, oops. There we go. Now I'll go back to my pencil. And again, you can ink with whatever you want. I'm just inking with pencil because that's just my preference. But um, if you're used to inking with an actual ink pen, feel free to do so. This is more addressing whether or not we can actually use this tablet for art. Uh. Okay, so now to talk about the actual pro and con of this uh, computer. So one pro that might not be considered a pro is the fact that you now only have a limited number of button features on the side. Um, what I have done right now is I basically installed a, an app called Tablet Pro. Um, it has a preset button feature um, for Clip Studio. And as you can see here, I'm trying to minimize this so you can see it. As you can see, it's got plenty of buttons, actually even more so than what the previous motion tablet computer used to have. They're not, granted, they're not physical buttons, but they are actual buttons that actually work within the tablet. So if I wanted to use that and come in here and do something like this. Using that button I can use it. It's much like using the shift if I needed to pan. Oops. If I needed to pan within my screen I could do that. And essentially any of those buttons would basically assign whatever it is that you need to assign it to. You do use gesture so a lot of the buttons that you used to use are probably covered in the touch feature or the interface of the software. Um, and also the um, Pro is that you actually have Wacom Tech. Um, Wacom Tech for this tablet here, can you actually use it for art? I think the answer is yes. Um, you can actually use the siloed pin that's in the tablet. It's a nice pin. Um, it's pretty accurate. Uh, it also has the one button feature. Uh, I don't necessarily like it for myself because it's a little too thin. I like more of the Intuos style. It's a little bit thicker. And I'm also using a glove because it's also touch sensitive. And I am left-handed. Um, I've been using it for probably about uh, going on three weeks. And uh, I'm starting to like it a lot better than what I'm currently using, which is an iPad Pro. Um, again, this is based on my user experience. So full disclaimer, this is my opinion. This is not has nothing to do with um, what I think is right or what I think is better. It's more of like based on my experience, I feel that this is probably a better tablet for me. Um, as an artist, uh, every artist has their own technique, their own uh, idea of what they consider to be a tablet that's useful for them. So that's also going to be based on what you feel is best for you. So in my opinion, can you do art on this computer? Yes, you can. Is it a full Windows computer? Yes, it is. Um, does it have Wacom Tech? Yes, it does. Does it have button features um, that I would use as an artist? Yes, it does. Um, does it have uh, minimal parallax? In my opinion, it does. Does it have minimal lag? Yes, it also has very minimal lag in my opinion as far as how fast I can draw. So the universal question, what is the ideal tablet? And the answer is there is no ideal tablet. It all depends on you, the user. Same thing as the ideal pen. What is the ideal pen? There is no ideal pen. It's what works for you. So keep that in mind. Use that as my own personal advice to you. Um, always test out these things before you actually jump in. 
strongly advise that. Um, and if you like this stuff, keep checking me out. Appreciate it. Thank you.